catch me howling at the moon. What's up guys and welcome back to Park Pros. Yesterday we got some somewhat shocking news out of the Adventureland Amusement Park located in Altoona, Iowa. Locals have posted pictures on Facebook of the park's 1990 Hopkins Looper, the Dragon, being disassembled. In addition to this sudden development, Adventureland also posted this teaser picture with the caption, coming in 2021, all but confirming the Dragon's removal and a new attraction taking its place next year. In this video, I'll give you some of my ideas about what I think Adventureland's 2021 edition could be, but first, let's start by talking about this sudden removal of the dragon. The dragon was the second oldest coaster in the park, and was arguably the park's most iconic roller coaster before Monster opened in 2016. I rode Dragon for the first time in July of 2019, and I did not have a pleasant experience with it. It's a pretty coaster with a great setting, but that was really the only redeeming quality of the ride. I'm usually all for restoring and upkeeping classic coasters, but this was one that just had to go. Plus, they've had some issues with the ride in the past, so I'm 100% on board with the decision that it was time for Dragon to be removed. I think the reason this removal is unexpected is because most rides, and especially roller coasters, typically have their closures announced beforehand to give the public an opportunity for last rides. This removal not only came out of nowhere, but they started taking down Dragon just a few weeks before the park is set to open. Which is weird, because you'd think that the park would have just taken the ride out during this past off-season. This sudden, seemingly out of nowhere removal makes me think that two things could have happened. First, the maintenance costs just became too expensive. The last coaster Hopkins built was in 1996, and there's just five left in existence after Dragon's closure, so replacement parts for the coaster are likely extremely pricey. Maybe they needed a replacement part, or something happened while testing the ride and they just decided it wasn't worth the price to reopen it. My second thought is that Adventureland has been exploring options for a new attraction to replace Dragon and pulled the trigger on a decision within the last few days or weeks, requiring the immediate removal of Dragon to start construction on the new ride. This wouldn't be unprecedented for Adventureland, as in July of 2015 they announced the closing of the River Rapids log ride due to maintenance costs and that Monster would be taking its place for the 2016 season. So let's take a look at this teaser that the park put out and break down what we think it could mean for the new for 2021 attraction that will assumingly replace Dragon. It's very obvious that the Dragon theme is honored here, with a knight in the background yielding a sword and looking ready to take it out. This makes me think that the coaster will still honor the Dragon in some way, but I imagine that knights will probably be the overarching theme of the ride. The name I have in my head for this project would be Dragon Slayer which is not only a badass name for a coaster, but also makes a ton of sense. A newer, better coaster is coming in to take Dragon's place. I also love the name Dragon's Revenge or Revenge of the Dragon. And to answer the big question at hand, yes, I do firmly believe that this new attraction will be a roller coaster. If you're including the Dragon in the concept art, then adding anything other than a new coaster to replace a former coaster would be misleading and likely a major disappointment. Plus, Dragon has a prime location right in the middle of the park and next to the lagoon. This isn't the biggest plot of land to play with, but Dragon didn't utilize any of the space over the lagoon, so I think there's an opportunity to maximize that entire area with this new ride. It's exciting to think about the possibilities of what Adventureland could be adding. After building Monster in 2016 and opening Phoenix this past year, this could be Adventureland's third new roller coaster in the past five years which is no small feat for a small family-owned park. Plus, those two coasters weren't small investments either, with Monster and Phoenix costing $9 and $6 million respectively. And of course, with the Lost Island theme park set to open up just two hours away in 2022, we expected that Adventureland would be stepping up their game in the coming years in response to having a brand new theme park as a competitor. Could we potentially have a small coaster war brewing in Iowa? I sure hope so, and it'll definitely be fun to watch in the coming years. So what do we think this new for 2021 coaster could be? I'm sure we'll learn more in the coming months and maybe even weeks, but there are a couple of manufacturers and models that immediately come to my mind as possibilities. Since Dragon was one of the more thrilling rides in the park, I'm thinking Adventureland will go that direction for its replacement, especially considering that the most recent addition, Phoenix, was more of an intermediate coaster for the park. The fact that it seems like they'll be paying tribute to the Dragon with this new ride makes me lean towards thinking they might go with a traditional sit-down coaster. One model that comes to mind would be a Chance Rides Hyper GTX. 
This mini hyper model packs an absolute punch without breaking the bank, as Kentucky Kingdom added Lightning Run in 2014 with a price tag of $7 million. This model gives great airtime, whippy transitions, and is a ton of fun. This would be a coaster well within Adventureland's budget and would be an awesome addition for the park. Going up a level, the next model that comes to mind would be an RMC Raptor. I didn't initially include Adventureland in my list of Midwest parks that could get an RMC Raptor, but with Dragon now gone, this model would fit absolutely perfectly in this plot of land and would be a stunning coaster sitting right over the water. And with the cost of the clone layout being around $7 million, this is another coaster that would give Adventureland a ton of bang for their buck. If Adventureland really decided to go out of the box, they could work with a manufacturer that's been making a lot of noise overseas recently and has made a comeback in the industry over the past couple years. That manufacturer would be Vekoma, which has overhauled a ton of their coaster models over the last few years and is building some really awesome looking coasters lately. If Adventureland wanted to stick with a traditional sit-down coaster, they could go the route of a Vekoma Mega Coaster. This model was a possible addition to Energylandia a couple years ago, and it looks like a compact layout with a ton of promise. And if they really wanted to go crazy, they could even go down the route of Vekoma's Firestorm Launch Coaster model, which they recently just opened at a park in Vietnam. The popular rumor circulating around the Adventureland enthusiasts is an inverted coaster. This would be a great addition, as the park currently doesn't have an inverted coaster, and it would be a completely unique experience at the park. I can't see Adventureland forking up the cash to bring in BNM or Intamin, but Vekoma recently debuted their new suspended thrill coaster design at Tripstill in Germany, and it looks like a really solid coaster at likely a much smaller price point. Vekoma doesn't have the best reputation when it comes to inverted coasters, and there is an SSC opening at Lost Island in 2022, but this new model looks like a smoother, more enjoyable experience. There's really so many ways that Adventureland could go with Dragon's replacement, and after the really great additions of Monster and Phoenix, I have full confidence in them to add something great for 2021. I said this in my Adventureland trip report video, but the attention the park has taken to expand their coaster lineup over the past few years hasn't gone unnoticed by me. Five years ago their coaster lineup was extremely outdated, and this new for 2021 coaster will hopefully be another big step towards building out that lineup and expanding the park's appeal to thrill seekers even more. Either way, it was definitely time for Dragon to go, and I couldn't be more excited to see what Adventureland has in store for their next major attraction. This is definitely a story we'll be covering as we continue to learn more, so if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on to stay up to date on Adventureland 2021. As always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and leave me a comment down below with your prediction on the Dragon's replacement. Thank you guys for checking out the video, and we'll see you all next time.